By 2050, it's predicted that the average UK summer temperature will be an astounding 40 degrees Celsius, with extreme heat waves taking areas of the country to 50 degrees Celsius. The houses we build today will have to stand up to the climate challenges of tomorrow. Water shortages, extreme weather and fuel shortages are some of the challenges homes will have to face. Through the Energy House 2 project, we've partnered with Sangaban and the University of Salford to test how the homes we build in 2025 will cope with the climate of the future. Building eHome 2 within the Energy House is one of the most significant projects that Barrett has ever undertaken when considering the impact of climate and energy efficiency. Inside the chamber, which is the largest of its kind in the world, a custom-built three-bedroom Barrett family home, the eHome 2, will be tested in the most extreme weather conditions. The climate chamber recreates temperatures ranging from a Nordic minus 20 degrees Celsius to an African scorching 40 degrees Celsius. It can also simulate wind, rain, snow, and solar radiation. The eHome 2 applies the learnings from our industry-leading Z House, finished in October 2021, which incorporated the most innovative and groundbreaking construction methods and smart technology as part of our roadmap to building sustainable zero carbon homes at scale from 2030. Energy House 2 will help us to ensure that our homes of tomorrow have low heating bills through energy efficiency, are comfortable to live in at the extremes of weather we will see in the future, use less water and ultimately have a lower impact on the planet. The importance of the challenge of energy efficiency uh, and climate change is something that's coming very quickly. Uh, and we're going to have to understand how our homes are going to perform and what we can do to help the most important person in our journey, which is our customer. So the Edge House 2 project is here really to see how the buildings of, of tomorrow perform. So this, this chamber is unique. It, it can take us down to minus 20, up to plus 40 with wind, rain, snow and solar radiation. But it can also do that very accurately. So it can control this climate to within half a degree across this huge chamber. For the buildings that we're currently examining, we're measuring a lot of different variables, whether that's energy performance, so how much it takes to heat the building, levels of thermal comfort, how comfortable is it to live in the building, how much does it cost to live in the building, uh, and also what is the, uh, the issues, if any, around overheating and underheating of the building in the summer and the winter months. Innovations include different kind of heating systems. So we've got our skirting board, which we've brought across from the Z house, but now it's across the whole house. Another air source heat pump. So we trialled uh, the Mitsubishi system in the Z house. We're now trialling a Valiant system here. We've gone further with infrared. So we've got infrared in every room. We've put a very smart brain into the home, so we've got the locks on system, which means all of the technologies talk to each other. One of the things about these homes is, as I say, we've got these really warm coats, highly insulated, so you don't need a lot of heat. But in the summer, you can easily overheat if you don't manage things like shading and ventilation. Well, the locks on system works out what the temperature is in your home, and if required, it will actually automatically drop the curtains so therefore shading the home. It's, it's exciting for us to think that we can measure all of those things and see which is the best system for different types of occupants, different types of homes. It allows us to take those technologies that we're going to be putting in the home in five years time and it allows us to test them in temperatures and climates that we'll see in 50 to 100 years time and it ensures that we future-proof those homes for our customers. We can't do that anywhere else under control conditions. So that, that, to me, the exciting bit is this whole idea of seeing which technology is the best fit for the house of the future. And at the end of the day, the customers are at the center of what we need to do.